Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about sex determination in humans. The sex determining mechanism in the case of human is XY type or XXXY type. As you all know, humans have 23 pairs of chromosome or in total 46 chromosome. Out of this 23 pairs of chromosome, 22 pairs of chromosomes are called as autosomes. These 22 pairs of autosomes are same for male and female. Same means their size, their structure, the arrangement of the genes on the chromosome, number of genes on the chromosome, their position, everything is same in male and female. And it is this autosome which is responsible for the somatic or physical characters of an individual. Along with these autosomes, humans have one more pair of allosomes which is also called as sex chromosome. As the name indicates, these sex chromosomes are the one which play an important role in the sex determination process. Or these sex chromosomes are the one which is responsible for the sexual characteristics of both male and female. These allosomes or sex chromosomes are not the same in male and the female. Not same means their size, their structure, the gene present on the chromosome, everything is different in male and female. The pair of sex chromosome that is present in the male are X and Y. Why it is named differently that is why the name is given X and Y because these two chromosomes are different. Different means the size, the structure, number of genes present on the chromosome, everything is different. That is why one chromosome is named as X, another chromosome is named as Y. So Y chromosome is much shorter than the X chromosome. Whereas the pair of sex chromosome that is present in the female is X and X or two X chromosomes are present. Why same name is given? Because these two chromosomes are structurally same. That is why both chromosomes are named X and X. Since male have two different types of sex chromosome, during spermatogenesis, they produce two different types of gametes. As you can see in this diagram, this is a genotype of male having 44 autosomes and X and Y sex chromosomes. During spermatogenesis or during the production of sperm, one sperm receives 22 autosome plus X chromosome. Because gametes are haploid in nature means they receive half the number of the chromosome. So half of the 44 is 22. So it receives 22 autosome plus one of the sex chromosome that is say it receives X chromosome. Whereas another gamete that is another sperm receives 22 autosome plus another sex chromosome that is it receives Y chromosome. So 50% of the gamete that is sperm produced will receive X chromosome and another 50% of the sperm produced will receive Y chromosome. So during spermatogenesis two types of gametes are produced in the case of male. Whereas in the case of female, since it has same type of sex chromosome, all the gametes receive X chromosome. As you can see in this diagram, all X are produced have 22 autosome plus X chromosome. Here also 22 autosome plus X chromosome. So during oogenesis, only one type of gamete is produced. In the next step that is during fertilization, if the egg carrying X chromosome fertilizes with the sperm carrying X chromosome, then it produces 44 autosome. 44 because 22 plus 22 that is 44 autosome plus XX. XX because X chromosome from egg, X chromosome from sperm. So XX means that it produces female. So zygote develops into girl child or female individual. In other case, if the same egg having the chromosome X fertilizes with the sperm carrying the chromosome Y, then it produces 44A, 44 because 22 plus 22, 44A plus X and Y. So XY, XY means male individual. So this zygote develops into boy child or male individual. So from this, it is very clear that the sex of the child is determined by the genetic makeup of the sperm or in other words male or the father is responsible for the sex of the child. But unfortunately in our society mothers are ill-treated for giving birth to female child. Anyhow giving birth to girl or boy is purely a chance factor. Every pregnancy will be having 50% of probability of giving birth to either male or the female child or girl or the boy child. 
So that is all about the sex determination in humans. Isn't it easy? I hope this video will be useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.